We're back. We promised we would be back with more PLL gossip, conspiracy theories, maybe actually full out spoilers. This is good stuff. There are no conspiracy theories. This is This is real. This is facts, baby. Is this facts? Oh my God, I hate that fucking thing. You ever see the captions that are like, Stupid meme Instagrams that are like, are th- is this facts with like the hand, the emoji with the <laughs> yes. hand and the finger out? And it's the ca- the caption will be something like, "Girls only love boys who break their hearts." And, it's like, and then it's like, is this facts with three emojis? Let facts? me tell you, yes, it is facts. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's true. Okay, okay. So Julia is back. I'm back, and she is about to spill the tea. To be fair, she never left. Mm-mm. Well, we didn't have to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> she came all the way back. <laughs> talk about it again. Okay. Jewel, I'm floor, ready. I'm ready to tell yours. you about the night that it happened. Okay. The night that it happened. So to clarify, this is Pretty Little Liars. And so many people started the series and almost nobody finished Correct. it. And we're going to lay out chronologically what happened the night that Allie went missing, which is like yellow cami fucking icon Allison De Laurentiis gets got. Did she die? No. Did she almost die 18 times? Yes. I mean, they did, all did. Did multiple people think that they slaughtered her and then lived with that guilt for a long time? Yes. And we're going to explain it to you right now. Right now. Okay. I love that. That's a great setup. Okay. So the first thing you need to know, Bethany Young is bad. She's bad. And you might be asking, who's Bethany Young? And that's a great question. We don't know. Okay. No, we don't know. Because I don't. So Bethany Young was from Radley. She was a little brat little rat menace a little menace from radley sanitarium if you remember it uh, yeah let's give her the benefit of the doubt think she had mental issues she was a psychotic (laughs) little rat (laughs) (laughs) i still i have to that menace okay for the record she pushed toby's mom off of the of the building she's a little devil okay i remember the other okay the two people that you need to lock into your brain that are not really like pretty little liars OG cast are Bethany Young and Charles Drake slash CC Drake. Yeah. Oh, I know slash Charles. Charlotte. She slash also goes Charlotte. By. Because famously, CC Drake that we knew and loved, who was this like sassy, mysterious girl, ended up later being trans. So it was Charles. Charles. Charles and it was Allie's brother. Correct. Adopted. Oh, my okay. God. The third person, Sarah Harvey. I, I don't really even want to touch okay, on Okay, Sarah Harvey is another body that just gets thrown in as well. Bethany Young is frightening. Yeah. I just Googled She's her. She's not a body. She's not a body. What I'm talking mean? bodies here. I'm talking dead ass bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Okay, so those are the two things. Here is Allie's timeline. She is wearing a yellow tank top, let it be known, throughout the entirety of what I'm about to tell you. She starts off in Hilton Head, South Carolina. She flies from there in a private jet somewhere to Pennsylvania. I I really can't even get into like everything she does. She runs around and is a total bitch to everybody, manipulates everybody, uses her whatever blackmail she's gotten on everybody the whole time. But she essentially ends up, we'll start at the sleep over right so she's at spencer's barn in the sleepover iconic they all get a little tips we find out later that spencer has also been on amphetamines so she is like looped out of her mind Allie drugged them but because spencer was on um like adderall different different kinds of uppers she did not get fully fucked up and she's the the first one that wakes up yeah so so famously Mm, famously famously in the in the pilot they all wake up the so they all meaning hannah Aria and Emily mm-hmm. wake up in the barn, which is Spencer's like out barn house, and they wake up to Spencer walking up to yes. the to the barn and being like, "I I heard a noise. I thought it was Allie, and she's, she's gone. gone. I can't find her anywhere." Which was like, I, I mean, scary. Yeah. Uh, and they show that clip a lot. Yeah. And so Allie is missing. But what Julie is going to explain is kind of the day she had leading up to this. The day she had. And that night. Because it is a full 24 hours of. 
I'm not going to get into the ins and outs because she goes a lot. She goes like to the De Laurentiis house. She goes back. She goes to see the NAT club. She goes back. She goes around the world in 80 days. But what I really want to hit home on are the people who think that they killed Allie, the people who think that they saw Allie get killed, and the people who think that they buried Allison's dead body. <laughs> oh, it's insane. It's like So the first thing that happens is that Spencer hits Allie with a shovel. At- attempts to hit Allie. Attempts Matt. to hit Allie with a shovel. Yeah. Which, real Allie. The actual Allison De Laurentiis. Which Melissa Hastings, Spencer's sister, oversees. Okay? We got okay. that one. Maybe we got to block that out because I think that's wrong. What no. happens is Spencer attempts to hit Allie over the head. Allie talks, says, Spencer, you're, you're fucked up. Go back to bed. Sp- S- Melissa then sees Spencer walking away with the shovel. So she doesn't see Allie dead. Like, she doesn't see a body yet. So, yes. and why did Spencer do that? Because at the end of the episode that we just watched, yeah. she, they have an altercation where Allie calls her out and says, I'm going to tell Melissa that you hooked oh, up with Oh, right, Ian. right, right, yeah. And she says, you're already dead to me. Oh, and that's a, such a great episode. Uh, oh, chill. Like, this is a good lead in because there was such big beef between Spencer and totally. Allie. Like, it really was not. Well, because Spencer was the only one that would ever stick up for them. And right. Speak up. And, and, and Allie, she they were fucking moment. hooking says, up with the same guy. Yeah. Yeah, which Spencer did not know. So yeah. that's why Allie was like, you need to tell. You and need Allie to tell. is like such a fucking dick. Like, she's like, ew, he's like twice your he's she's like mean about it and yeah lo- low case fucking right. hitting up ezra hitting up that's like her being like i know you want to kiss me Ew. to ian at the rock um but so this is so the first attempted at murder spencer on ally ally talks her out of it there was no swing i don't think there was ever no a i think swing. you're right yeah so but spencer is caught by melissa walking away dragging a correct a shovel, shovel. the shovel mm-hmm. the shovel that we then find out later like uh, uh, maybe a season later is the murder weapon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's the first incident chronologically. The second one is that Garrett and Jenna oh, so good. quote unquote kill Allie. Now what, what actually happens as far as I understand is that Garrett fakes it for Jenna's benefit because she is blind and she just believes it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they Jenna. don't actually kill her. Garrett knows that they do not kill her. Right. Jenna wants to kill Allie. That is her plan. Yes. And the fucked up part about this is that Jenna thinks he did it the whole time because yeah. at the, Garrett knows he did not kill her. He it's with a hockey stick is, is what it is. Garrett kills Allie with the hockey stick, but faked it. Cause Jenna's obviously blind. For seasons, yeah, Je- we were watching a season two episode, and Jenna goes to Garrett and says something snarky. She's like, like "We did it!" Like, yeah, she and she's like, "She to deserved it." Yeah, yeah, that's and the episode it, I just watched. It's like, okay, can you imagine being Garrett waking up and being like, "Allie G. Laurentis is dead or gone," and and then him being like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, because because at this moment he thinks <laughs> that he actually that? did not kill her. Right. So that's the thing. So that's his sketchiness. Like mm-hmm. the reason he's sketchy the whole time is because he's like. Honestly, all evidence would point to me. I faked her murder. Yeah. I didn't actually do it, but right. now she's dead. So now what? Yeah. Yeah, now what? Epic. Okay. okay. And then Je- and Jenna thinks sh- they killed her. Yes. So right now we've got Spencer attempting. Jenna thinks mm. they did. Spencer attempting and Melissa thinking Spencer, Spencer did, did it. Jenna thinking. thinking they did and Garrett knowing they didn't, but she ended up dead anyway. Yep. And that's just the beginning. Okay. All right. Next one is... C.C. Drake slash Charles Drake escapes Radley to chase after bad, bad Bethany Young. But it's actually Allison and C.C. and Jessica De Laurentiis bury Allison alive. Yes. So at this point, the story behind Bethany Young is that when when Charles, before C.C. transitioned, he was Charles Drake. And Bethany Young were kids. Toby's mom... Marion was at Radley, Radley as well, but as a worker, I don't think no, she, she was there. Oh, no, she, she was, was there. crazy, okay. yeah. And and they push her off the motherfucking yes. building. S- Charles goes up to to Bethany and says, "Why the fuck did you do that?" Yeah. And then and then Bethany, Bethany looks goes, at her and goes, "You did it. You did that. What do you mean? Like bad? She's bad. Which she is has, why we led this with she's bad. We have no other like really Benchmark? anchoring points Nothing. for her other than she is bad, mm. right? So so." They both escape Radley. Cece, who has transitioned at this point, 
thinks it's Bethany Young that she's buried getting going to Mary Drake slash Jessica Dealer yeah. and house. Cece bops Allie over the head and thinks thinking it's Bethany quote unquote kills her. Mm-hmm. She ain't dead, but but there is a shot of from behind like um, Cece's POV looking at Allison De Laurentiis's mom in the mirror panicking like you just killed my daughter right but instead of going to the police they bury, they bury her, her. Be- and then put a gazebo on top of her but before they do the gazebo mm-hmm. she gets buried alive and she's st- I remember here's the next crazy out. thing so now yeah. we have two more people who are in the mix who think that they killed and buried Allison De Laurentiis and those people are Cece Drake and Allison De Laurentiis's own mother okay yeah. next thing Allie's alive body she has not died she they bury her alive is discovered because mrs grunwald (laughs) that's the old lady with the crazy eye yes has a vision and goes to save Allie. she pulls her out and and saves her she's the one with the parrot as well tippy tippy that's it that's three the next one is that mona actually kills Bethany Young, bad Bethany Young. Yeah. Who's also at this point, let it be known that she is wearing an identical yellow camisole as Allison yes. De Laurentiis because Jessica De Laurentiis gave both of her daughters, Allison De Laurentiis and Cece Drake, a yellow matching camisole. Bethany Young has stolen that yellow camisole from her roommate or friend at Radley <laughs> Put it on and escaped. Okay, I know All this is batshit crazy. Night. All in the I same know night. it is. <laughs> and this is this is what the show is about. This is what they're expecting us to know just from watching it, not studying it. We were studying this and going, no way. So here's the thing: Mona actually truly kills Bethany dead to a crisp, thinking it's Allie, thinking it's Allison De Laurentiis. And how does she kill her? Shovel, okay. boxer. Shovel, she just bu- gets because popped. that's the actual autopsy that's done. Is is yeah, and they don't realize that that's not Allison. They like, do not on, because son. here's the thing. Enter Melissa Hastings. She finds dead Bethany, decides not to look at her face, and buries her dead, not alive. Buries her body because she thinks that her sister Spencer Hastings has Did killed it. Allison De Laurentiis, Isn't and she's trying so to cover good? up for her. Okay, Mona kills a bitch, leaves her there. Since she's wearing the cami and Melissa had already seen Spencer dragging the shovel, puts two and two together. My sister fucking killed this bitch. Yep. I got to bury this girl. Yep. So many the people loyalty. are loyalty. Yeah. The loyalty. And it's so funny because Melissa had always been is she a in the back of my mind the whole series, the entire fucking series. I'm like, Melissa's bad. Yeah. So her motives are correct to be sketchy the whole time and probably being like, Spencer like mm-hmm. kind of having a superiority complex because she's like I did your dirty work bitch I yeah. know you killed Allie like stop lying but oh my god it. when she wants to send her to like the therapy and shit in season one yeah she's like we're trying to help you yeah <laughs> okay so wow, last so thing that's is good stuff. so last thing is though that Allie's body we, we need to know what happens to Allison so she's been just dug up after being buried alive by her own mother by Mrs. Grunwald, a blind woman. <laughs> she's, not, she's not actually blind. She's, she's got like, she she's got, um, yeah, yeah, like cataracts or something. <laughs> she, she's got a stigmatism. She's wandering around, and Mona Vanderwall picks her up, and I guess is just like, oh, guess that didn't work. That didn't stick. The death thing didn't stick. I'm gonna just take her to this motel, and this is my lair now, and I'm a. And the best part was like. Allie teaches Mona how to become popular. And that's why Mona becomes the it girl with Hannah later. Like Mona knows the whole time that Allie is it's alive. alive. It's sick. Is that not all sick? So then oh, they all wake up the next morning. I didn't realize that. I, did, I never thought about that. That she actually truly like she knows for a fact that she's not. Dead. Yeah. Big time. And and so I mean there's obviously more. That's only up to leading up to season six, episode ten. For the for the real fans out there, they know that Spencer Hastings has a twin. <laughs> and that's how they finish the series off. They could have just like exactly what you said, left it as that. Mona is A. She's been fucking with everyone. Well the Mona is A reveal happens in season two. Season two. So it's like, what are you supposed to do with that? 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think they just, people loved it and kept up with it and they wanted to keep it going. So as they kept it going, they were like, this person, you're in the mix now. I think what the next thing we have to do really quickly is the lineages of who bangs who and who's each kid. Because everyone needs to know that, that this, in case you need a, a reminder. So... Allison D. Laurentis' mom, Jessica, has a twin named Mary. So we call her Mary Drake, right? And Mary Drake was in Radley the whole time because she's she's has some mental something, right? So there are multiple things where it's like people think they're banging Jessica, but they're actually banging Mary. So the she's siblings, a hot commodity. the siblings run amok in this show. Amok, 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 amok. Do you have it written? I do, but you're doing a great job. No, that's all I got. Okay, so Jessica De Laurentiis and Mary Drake are twin sisters. Yes. Jessica De Laurentiis has Allison De Laurentiis with Kenneth De Laurentiis. That's just Allison's dad, straight up, normal dude. Jessica De Laurentiis has Jason De Laurentiis with Peter Hastings. Yes. Peter Hastings is also the father of both Spencer Hastings and Alex Drake with not Veronica Hastings, not the mother who looks like Mariska Hargitay from SVU, but with the very own Mary Drake twin sister to Jessica De Laurentiis, who is also the mother to Cece Drake slash Charles De Laurentiis with, get this, Pastor Ted, who Ashley Marin, aka Hannah's mom, ends up dating for a season. Uh, ju- psychotic. I mean, literally psychotic. So, And the pastor is what's-his-face's dad, right? Cece's. Sean's dad. No. no. But Sean does have a religious oh. dad. Oh. M- no. Maybe? No, no, but I like where your head's at. I wish. I honestly he's wish. Because like in season one, he, his dad is like the pastor. Yeah. Mm. So, so Mary Drake tricks Spencer's dad into banging him thinking it's Jessica. So, so Spencer, Spencer's dad... Peter yes is is cheating on Mariska Hargitay with Jessica De Laurentiis who is Allie's mom but Mary Drake who is an identical twin sister tricks tricks so he has kids with everybody in town he really does he's our town daddy it's crazy like I remember every reveal with being like oh Spencer and Jason are siblings and Spencer and Allison are siblings and Cece's a sibling and and then of course I mean we might as well get into it Mary Drake had twins Spencer and Alex Drake and Alex Drake ends up being the ultimate big bad in season seven with the time jump because Ren somehow plays into it. It's insane. Ren, the English doctor who was um, banging Melissa, engaged Melissa, kissing Spencer, goes back to England, goes to a pub and fucking Mm -hmm. Spencer's evil twin is bartending there. Yeah, with a terrible accent. Spence is just like, oh, my God, what's up, mate? I agree with you. Yeah, it's it's honestly insane. They needed a way to wrap it up, and that's where I come up with the pull a paper out of a hat. And her and Ren end up together, right? No, she kills Ren, and she puts him his ashes in a necklace. In a diamond necklace. Oh. She's like, I always have my hair in my heart. What? <laughs> oh, fucking that was like, you. What like was country? that? That was Southern. I don't know. You so know those, like are, accent? those yeah. are like, honestly, the really big entanglements is what happened on the night that Allie disappeared and how are these goddamn people related to one Ooh, another? Another good thing is when Mona gets in Radley, Mona tells Cece every single secret thinking it's Allie. Mona's yes. so fucked up on the drugs they're giving her at Radley. She tells Allie all the secrets, which then gives Cece kind of like an overlapping, like puppeteering thing. It, it is so stupid. It's so stupid. And you and guys awesome. are honestly welcome because now you know. You wouldn't yeah, have known if you just know. watched the I show. I watched the show and I didn't know. No, we, we no, wouldn't know. I How would we know? I was like, wait, what? How would we know that you shit? better stop. Yeah. So that's it. There you go. The which, night it happened. Which liar ends up at Radley? Is it Spencer? Yeah, Sp- yeah Spencer. Yeah. yeah, Spencer gets put into Radley. We read this. Because they trick her that Toby's dead. Yes. And then Toby's in the 18, which is that iconic moment where they're at Radley and Mona's like talking to someone and Mona's like in like a sexy nurse outfit because of course she's like uh, impersonating a, a nurse at Radley as, yeah. as one do- as a 17 year old does. And then <laughs> and then there's someone in a hood talking and then it's like the season finale and he turns around and it's Toby with that fucking evil face free at last. <laughs> 901, 901 free, at free at last. That tattoo. But he ends up being good, right? Toby's good yeah. throughout. They yeah. write him good because... 
Spencer needs a love interest. Yeah. Honestly, Ezra was the one who was a sweet, sweet boy, and then they gave him a bad rep at the end, and I think they never didn't have that planned and threw it in at the end. I really don't think that was well done, but... No. no. Ezra's hot. Yeah, he's he hot. Is. We'll get back to it, but he's hot. Yeah. I wanted to quick say on the episode from before, I lo- the, the classic ending, so... They have some fucking coconut heads bracelets that she gives everybody. They're like, oh, these are the bracelets. Can I just say that I almost bought you a Julia bracelet 800 <gasps> times? 800 times. Every Like over the past 10 years? Every gift I've ever given you, that is always my fallback. Honestly, I if you did it in 2011, nailed it. If you did it in 2021, oh, no. I'm gonna nailed you- it. But any other year, I don't think I would know what you were giving me. I mean, that back then... Mm. not 10 years but honestly now i would oh, think that yeah. that'd, be <laughs> that'd be lit um and then and so they figure out like if we can find out who makes these bracelets we can track who bought these bracelets and they go and they're like yeah this was purchased by spencer hastings and i was like yes yeah. classic pretty little liars everything is a is a miss like whatever mm-hmm. the a is one step ahead of them i was but who is myself. A at that time? Mona. Mona. It's Mona. It's Mona, Mona is A in season one and two. Okay. Toby C-C- joins the A team at one point as kind of a guise to like be good, but like be in the inside. Yeah. A D. Uh, the mm. CC is big A. I big do want to say, at the end of this episode, it's interesting. They bring up the eyeballs. And yes yes and because we watched the episode where i have that written down the, the doctor the doctor the therapist that they go to ends up saying something about the eyeballs of of it's it's there's multiple times that they're the they're like pretty eyes or like yeah, your eyes are so eye. the eyes are the window to the soul yeah they're always talking about the eyes so everyone's like it's jenna <laughs> oh you know, is that what people thought people were like they're talking about eyes it's jenna because she's not mm. she's faking blind and her eyes are all are just like there is not oh <laughs> my god there's no balls what's or behind ball. those fugly no glasses <laughs> no but it's funny because when we were watching it we were like holy shit mona's eyes are like they're like this wild like amber color they're not really brown they're that like is so they're true. like this like really pretty amber color which is funny. Yeah, it's it's strange. So, okay, wait. I love that we're breaking down the A's because now yeah. you're like, oh, right. I don't, I couldn't tell you any of the other oh, ones. Well, oh, AD, man. AD is a lot of people because a lot of people end up coming in and out of being like good and bad because they're trying to like get on the, like Spencer's on the AD team at one point because she's, she's been told Toby's dead and she's like wants to get back to him. So she joins AD team to like, I don't even fucking die know. as well. Die as well. Yeah. The D stands for death. <laughs> yeah. After the death. only thing important to remember yeah, is literally. honestly the end in the beginning. So Mona is the first A. the end. all be all a is, um, Alex Drake, Spencer's evil twin it's, and CC re- re- yeah. wreaks some havoc in between there. I think CC's probably the biggest one. True. It's Mona and Cece are the biggest one, and Alex comes in in the aftermath to cause even more drama as adults. Yeah, because isn't it like, she's like, no, guys, seriously, it's me. Uh, it's Spencer. And then she's like, no, guys, isn't that like a thing? I love that. Yeah. It, it, yeah, and then, oh my God, and the we girl, gagged and the, at what that And the liar. Oh, like, Michel so soir. <laughs> yeah. What's my favorite poem from the book? Yeah, she's she like, says je it in French. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, he's like, yes, it's you. Yeah. It's he always kills the you. other one. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> killed it? Uh, nobody killed. Nobody. No, yeah. uh, but we'll wrap up on this because I think this is a good note to end on. The very last scene is Mona somewhere. She's working at a French doll shop, and she goes down into the basement, and she's got Alex Drake and Mary Drake locked up That's and right. dressed up as dolls. Yep. And she's just leaving them there. Like I can't be forever, mate. Right? Yeah, mate. Right? A spot of tea, mate. Yes, I remember that. And that's how the, the doll series ends. episode is oh, no. creepy. The series ends where it began. We open at the and close. And that's where we'll end. We open at the close. We close at the open. We close at the open. When I've been watching, I've been like fucking it up and mixing up Riverdale. Sure. So sure. like, I'm like. I agree with that. I'm like, oh my God. At one point, it's like Spencer's dad. Because I was thinking of when it was Betty's dad. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm like, she visits him in jail. I remember that. Black and then I'm, like, I'm picturing the fucking dad from Riverdale. Yeah. And I'm like, when does he come into play? And then I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I'm thinking of fucking Riverdale. That is a perfect comparison. These shows are so Pretty Little stupid. Liars walk so Riverdale could run. 
That's it. That's it. Truly. Season one of Riverdale was flawless. flawless. Loved I it. I agree with that. That's all we needed. We just needed that to be a mini series and that was it. But I loved the, it. This cast is so hot I know. that they could have done wondrous things and they decided to just make it stupid. Yeah. And I still it's watch. It's over, right? This no, is, I boy did I watch no, last isn't it week. the list? season no it has been oh. announced this last boy season. will it be going on forever and fucking ever i know i don't know talk about i i snapchat it when i, I was know watching remember the i was like opener. how are you still watching this show i snapchat at the opener last week and i'm like lily and cole working together and like having these like prom moments where they're just like you're the most happy beautiful prom thing lover I've ever seen like i'm like how are you doing this you, god bless you god That's bless you they make the working with bucks. your exes i'd rather fucking kill myself i loved them together too yeah they're really good but i mean did you watch to the end of four no i stopped watching when like the gargoyle game was happening let me give y'all a spoiler i was like alert. what is fuck i can't if this you don't so want weird. the spoiler alert stop listening but at the end of four, Archie and Betty start hooking up, even though they're both with Veronica and Jughead. They cheat. They cheat, baby. It's it's like crazy. And like then that. Cringe Town, it, the season five opens with Veronica singing a song she stole from Archie. Like Archie wrote a song, right? Veronica sees it and is like, I'm going to sing this to him at my speakeasy that I own as a 17 year old. No. And sings it. And it was a song he wrote for Betty and already sang to Betty in the last season. Oh my God. That's showbiz. That's showbiz, baby. That's it. Yeah. Like what I remember from Riverdale last watching is like Archie's in jail and they're like doing a musical of like I actually outside really liked the gates. That the, there's a the cost cutting of, of Jug doing something and Archie trying to get out of jail. And I actually, it was one of my favorite episodes of Riverdale. But yeah, it's all stupid. It's bad. It's bad. Now we're talking about Riverdale. <laughs> yeah. But this was good. Um, I think that if given the time, we could talk about Pretty Little Liars forever. Absolutely. Forever. 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 Um, are you mad that I made you do this? No. Okay. I just wanted you back. I, I want know. you back. Thank you so much. I was so, I'm so happy to be here. And it was fun. We got, I got two, two for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, truly. Literally. Mm -hmm. Truly. Well, that's Pretty Little Liars, baby. Um, that's Immortality, my darlings. Oh, my God. Had to end yeah. it on that. Yeah, because every time they're, like, in a, in a fog. Oh, my God, and she's they going. Think, well, no, right? Because <laughs> every time they're in a fog and, like, they think they see her, they actually saw her, right? She's. I love it. Yeah. Love that's it. true, right? Yeah. Totally. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the hospital with Hannah and the, in the nurses. Because like, I just watched the episode where they were a like tricks Emily and locks her into the barn with the car running. Well, yeah. And then she's like laying on her lap. She's like, yes, yeah, two, two can keep, keep a secret. secret if one, one, of, them one of them is dead. Yeah. I was like, ah! Yeah. I said it. That's terrible. I said it. And she's like, as she wakes up, she's like feeling her lips. She's like, that was real. Yeah. She's like, you like, can still Allie feel her here. lips. Allie's yeah. here. And her yeah. friends are like, what the fuck? <laughs> They're like, no, she's dead. Like, give it up, dude. We know you're in love. I actually re did really enjoy that Spencer comment because it's not blatantly known that the liars know that Emily was in love with Allison. You know? And I Allison like was such a bitch. And that's it. We're wrapping I don't it up. But Allison was so I hate mean. that they ended up together with twins. I, I think hated it's that. I, I think, think it's stupid. Ick Who? Allie and, and Emily end up together with twins. Why don't I remember that? I like don't they remember literally, anything. Um, Emily gets fucking inseminated with Ren's babies. Stop it. And Wait, is it Emily birth. or Allie? Allie. Gives birth to Ren's fucking babies because her egg. No, Emily, because her eggs got stolen. I don't know. Dude, me neither. Someone's eggs got fucking stolen. Inseminated with Ren's f sperm. Because at the end, Alex Drake looks at the baby and is like, you've got your daddy's eyes. Because Alex Drake is impersonating Spencer at Arya's wedding when they have Spencer and Ezra fucking tied up in a dungeon somewhere. And that's why you should watch Pretty Little Liars on freeform.com. <laughs> no, on that HBO Max. On HBO Max. I need to watch the known season known finale right now. Formerly known as freeform.com. Yeah. ABC Family, Freeform. You can really find it anywhere. HBO Max, actually. That's no, the yeah, only you place. have to go to HBO Max. It's the only place <laughs> yeah, you can no, watch it unless you're going to pay it, for it. But, but um, it's a good nostalgic. Like, don't don't hate on it. The, the key to don't watching. Don't hate it until you've tried it. The, the key to watching Pretty Little Liars is to understand that it is garbage and now you can fully enjoy. And that's the tea. And that's the joy darlings. of life. Understand that life is garbage and then enjoy. And just enjoy it. Yeah, and enjoy Eat it. Eat that garbage. Eat that Drink garbage. Drink it up. Drink Sip that it up. garbage. All right. <sighs>
That's all I got. To Thank say. you guys so much. Matt I'm gonna is asleep. Matt's like, I'm turning this off. I'm gonna like formally Julia? say goodbye now. Yeah, yeah thank you thank for you coming. coming back. You're a rock star. On. Thank you guys so much. Way to be the hey expert. Na na. Hey, nana. Hey, nana. Hey, nana. Hey, nana. Hey, nana. Thanks, guys. Hey, nana. Hey, hey. <laughs>